What's up guys? Today I wanted to show you how to identify when you run across a transistor. Now if you followed my fuzz face build you'd know that these metal cans usually have a little tab pointing to the emitter and usually that's the way it is. Uh, the tab points to the emitter pin out. Now uh, those happen to be NPN which I explained in my last video. These are PNP. So sometimes you're going to run across this where you're going to have a transistor and you're going to question yourself and you're not going to be able to find a data sheet. These happen to come in a package and you can see here it breaks down the voltages and the HFE and if you're looking at the transistor from the bottom the base emitter and collector. So let's take a closer look at this this one happens to show that green dot towards that one leg. Now this one, I guess the machine got sloppy. It's kind of, you know, in the same place. Now there's some uh, ones out there that have a little red dot here and a little white dot. And there's some people saying that that indicates, the red dot and the white dot indicates the collector usually or all the time I forget what I read but that's not always the case as we'll see here in a second this green dot is indicating emitter now being it's PNP and being we know the middle leg right here is the base we're gonna take our multimeter we're gonna set it to the diode and then we're gonna take our black lead and we're gonna connect it to that middle leg and now we're gonna take our red lead from the multimeter and connect it to each leg so we're gonna do the right one first and you can see how we're looking at it okay so you can see what side we're on on that leg and we're gonna take a reading so that's 144 so we wrote 144 down. Now we're going to switch the lead to the left side. And as you can see, that's to the left side. And there's our reading, 147. So we write down 147. Now the collector is always less than the emitter. So if you look there, I put a C for collector for the 144. Now we'll put E for emitter, and we know the emitter is pin out. So we wrote pin out with the E and then we're just gonna take a look I did not disconnect the leads and we're gonna take a look at the top of the transistor to see where that green is orientated. Okay so now you can clearly see the base that we're on in the middle is on the top I did not disconnect the leads we're gonna flip this over and right there you can see, let me get that in focus, the green dot is on the emitter. So that green dot represents the emitter. Now you might want to try this with the red dot and the white dot that goes on the side to find out which is your pin out before connecting it into your circuit. Okay, so now we're going to take it and we're going to put it on HFE. Now we're going to do PNP as you can see and we're going to take the emitter and we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick the base, the emitter in the PNP side, the base and then the collector. Alright so we got that plugged in and you can see the HFE is a 144 on this and up here on the package it says 90. So we definitely know that the green dot represents the emitter because we got that out and that's exactly how you want to be sure to test your transistors out 